Welcome everybody, this is Bones, we are doing a let's play of Still Not Dead. Mm -mm. Takes more than that to kill me. Although, from what I hear, I'm gonna die a lot in this. Uh, so, this may be a multiple speedrun thing with this thing. This is a roguelike, uh, where it has its own form of checks and balances. You get a blessing, and then it says down here, next time you will be cursed. So, we start with a blessing, next time we're cursed, then a blessing, then a curse. What are gunners? Good shoot while sprinting. This is essential for most shooting games as events. You've got to be able to do all the I feel like having this is a no, I and mean, that's pretty much a no brainer. Uh, now, here, we're gonna check our map. We don't need help yet, so we're gonna save that. I don't want to use it up in case we need it, because I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Um, I've done a few little preliminary runs of this to try it out, guys, I'm not gonna lie. And, uh, I'm enjoying this one. As you can see here, hand drawn, sort of thing is. Uh, looks very nice. Quite a little charm, like a retro Nintendo 8-bit charm to it that I did. I'm a big retro gamer, I'm not gonna lie. To this day, I still love it. And do we have any other fans out there who are watching this? Uh, a little game known as Zombies Eat My Neighbors. I used to play that game relentlessly. I still love it. I think it's brilliant. So, also if you guys like it. Now, let's get to this game here, shall we? Uh, holding down the R button brings up your little map there, so I know where I am. All these things in the map of the parts are things you can buy. Because I do need help, you know, we're going to go straight for that little part. Um, and then we're going to make our way south a bit. Because you see guys, this game has one to that and I kind of ignore. I just ignore the scope for a moment to get the last big board, so that will teach me a moment. Um, and that is that death itself will chase your ass if you're not careful. And I mean, like, you gotta be careful. See, I've already played around with the team, and now I gotta run. Not run. Yeah. Now I gotta go this way because what has basically happened is I was zigged when I should have zagged, and somehow I have missed out on health. Okay, so now you see that? I mean, death is coming so I gotta have more than enough time. Uh, and the green thing is death, so, or not the green thing, the black stone the enemy map. Oh god, I'm freaking out so many dark. Uh, I need to get to an empty night zone quickly. There's one over there glowing, and it's like, bones come to me, so we're there. Ooh, so every round, if you take too long, death chases you, so how's that for an incentive, eh? Not metaphorical either. I mean the real death. Um, broken arm, can't melee attack, love shopper. Find something to learn some enemies within a room, or lose one dollar every time you pull it to miss an enemy. That is one of the worst kisses ever right there. We'll do this one. It's not ideal, but... I mean, there are better curses to end up with than that. So far, one I don't mind getting is an environmental one. This takes you on a great environment. Um, I will say, I think I've forgotten about the other effect that I just realized now while I was talking about the tech curse. That obviously, in a fully destructible environment, I could be making my own exits and shortcuts places, so. Maybe that's actually a worse curse than I thought. I'm gonna need to figure that out, guys. Um, any thoughts on this matter? I don't know. Like right there, anything. You can break anything, literally. I don't want any enemies knowing where I am if I can help it when the health is lower. I get all bravado with the shit this is. The health is alright, but when it's lower, no. I like mean, I need to end I don't know what's going on with that metal, but I didn't see it right there. It's wrong, and it's probably likely, because I'm not great with this game so far. Right? I don't really care if it's fun. Now, I will say one thing. Kudos to the dev for having a uh, decent AI on this. Uh, these monsters are not stupid, they don't just stand there. They are in motion from the time you hit a level 
until you leave that level, something is going to be up and moving around. Whether you are doing your own shit or not, they're also doing their own shit. Somebody put a lot of thought into that, I appreciate that though, you know, it keeps it... I mean, you, you cannot just sit still ever in this game, like I'm doing right now. I like that I say that as I'm doing it, but you see the repercussion that I got my ass kicked too. Um, they don't play around in this game, man, that's for sure. This, this, that was not kidding, the name of the game. I'm still not dead yet. Um, is, you know, a famous, like, money fight that has to I'm not dead! Early this round, we need to kill three more things quickly. There's Q right there. Look at that. We got the slow mo. Oh, oh god, there he oh, it is, that's him, him. Shit. I'm not gonna be able to outrun him full time. My stamina is gone. So I need to hurry my own stuff and protect that goal before he gets me. Can I do it? Can I do it? Oh my god. Woo! That was, uh, man. That was insane. That was quite honestly just insane. What the hell is this? What did I do? Hit Q. And that killed me. Oh, maybe it wasn't Q. Any creature. I'm gonna say this already. This music. Digging it. Digging it, digging it. Uh, it fits the game. It's light and action y. It definitely. And I feel pumped with this going on. Slap these zombies upside the head. Go, like, oh, I got that killing music, baby! What are gonna do? I'll tell you what they're gonna do, they're gonna kill me, because that's what zombies do, so they, they kill you. They try to. So it's us or them in an epic smackaroo of gun proportions with, with fierceness and her and all that shit. And we are trying to win. We're trying to win. How are we doing on that front? Better than I thought. Better than I would expect. Uh, now it seems like... There are six areas in all, every run, we get to a certain amount of them, and I'm hoping I can actually clear all six, I don't know what happens, I don't know what happens. Uh, we ended up with this game last night, so we are trying her out today. There's somewhere probably a Christian that is really mad there's pretty six of them in this game, but... I will say, it's unsettling, even if you are not a devout of any religion. There's something creepy in here. If you see a religious symbol created uh, like that, where you can see it in a connotation that's negative, I think we inherently as people, for example, I think we have this like mental thing where we know and I know I'm missing the term, so somebody please find me the exact term for this. That when you see a religious icon of any kind being displayed upside down, um, whatever you want to call it, Jesus H, I cannot believe I did that. Take a practice, your bullets move at speed, or 50% chance to lose a random item at the end of each stage. <sighs> Again, not a deal, but better than nothing. We are ignoring all these non efforts just to get straight to the food we need to. Thank you. I don't know what a crystal is. And I died. Not my best game. But. Food heals 50% extra, it's a good one. Okay. Let's have a 6% chance to explode. I like that. Let's give him the old Chuck Norris. Building up. I 
Now, the way this game works, the ebb and flow of this game is unnoticed. Is your character is a creation of your your curses, the curses that you pick out of the three, and then three blessings in their rank. Um, which I dig, because instead of just all being good by being negative, it challenges how you play the game. And, you know, you're, you're basically making your own weaknesses, like, and saying, oh, I, I'm good at this, I could totally float on this one, just go and kill this, this, and this, and I'll be alright. Um, I, I think that's a bold choice for the developer, really, because, you know, you're writing your own narrative out there, you know? I don't really know what I'm doing with that. It's call it a theory. I'm trying to see how, much, how long it takes to act through all these things. Hope is supposed to be around here somewhere, and as you know, this from looking at me, I need to up and help. Well, there it is, baby. The sea to the victors who hack up walls for the spoils of... I don't know, balls, I don't know. Spoils of something. War? Spoils of war? How about that? It's a little more PG. Um, man, these are these. Good deck to say. Oh, yes. Okay. Right, baby. Get a grenade now. Call us Action Jackson. Did that do it? It should be done. The kills on you to open the door. Do not set it up there. Now we're going to try and get all these people to come at us like Costco shoppers on sale, okay? And uh, come over here and nab this. Easy peasy, baby. Easy peasy. Okay. I feel like shuffling is the worst thing. What the hell? Is that me? That's me. Oh, are you, are you looking for me? Okay. Holy shit, I didn't even know I had this. Yeah! I am Cole, the bringer of death. For myself. Explosive ammo, plus you. Not a good idea, kids. Uh, let's see survival ammo. I have a feeling my health is gonna be dropping down past my 5% watch. One thing I like about this roguelike is that it is a... The lighting is deceptively nice. And what I mean by that is... Uh, sorry, I'm just noticing like, more and more things in the this here. But one of these is that the lighting. Uh, the hues, the shades, all this stuff. Kind of cool. It's, it's if you notice, you'll notice a little green. But what you're not seeing is that behind that little green, it looks like there is a little glow added to it, like a uh, its own dynamic light behind certain objects and certain things. And uh, I dig that. But I also like the way they did the time of day change kind of thing, where it goes and gets darker and darker and darker and goes boom, boom, boom. Your time runs out. I do wish that we had an optional HUD to let us know how long we have in each level. That would be fair, I think. Um, even if it's like a toggle thing, you can turn it on or else if you don't want it, you can have it. I wouldn't mind it as a feature, but I will say that not knowing exactly how long I spent does add a little something. Freaking creepy. Uh, it, it really does, because, like, right now, you're know, freaking out because I don't want that damn person to catch me. Uh, even though he did not look like a burn the he looks like a giant piece of buddy. But death can look like lots of things, right? You don't gotta be, like, an old-looking dude in a, a sickle and tape. Uh, in this case, he's quite effective. You know how I know? Because he's still trying to kill you. That's how I know. I'm a dumbass. I don't know about that thing. I could do if I started uh, attacking that wall before I went, wait a minute, genius. It's probably closer than you think. No, no, it's right. Oh, I don't want to do this again. It sounds like that's bad. Shit. This is what I was afraid of. Okay, I don't know where the hell he is, but I know where I don't want to be. It's up here. 
Yes, it's a dog. Which sucks. I don't know what that noise is, but I'm assuming it's a death that I do. Smack me upside the head and punch my leg. Something, some horrible thing he's going to do. I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is. I know no stealing is a genius. Alright. I like that I'm insulting myself technically. Okay. Oh, God. So that is what I'm trying to avoid. That giant ass. Didn't happen. Did not happen. Last stage, I get the exits. We're gonna do one last one here, guys. Explosions are three times as big, Gunrunner or Speed Freak. Which one, guys? Which one? Let's do Gunrunner. I like the idea that I stay quick like it into speed is important. This is basically like... Dude, I'm seriously... This game does make you look out everywhere. Like, you cannot relax in this game for a moment. You'll be like, oh, I see all the monsters. Wrong. You never see all the monsters. I'm learning this, that if you think you see all the monsters, you are going to get smacked in the back by a monster. It's like Velociraptors. Only the undead. So, like, undead raptors. The last one I did? I don't know. T-Rex, Cellian? I like it. None of those sound right. Uh, we'll just say, like the... Sorry, I'm concentrating really hard with the power, but my game plays I broke ass. Can you get more ammo? Doing horrible this time. Okay. You can up my choke This weather is promising me all sorts of horrible, horrible things that I don't want to deal with. Uh, mainly a giant ass black skull with flaming death clouds that will totally kill me if I even get near it. So let's not play around with that. Let's just go and kill, being an easy here. Get mass to an exit. Uh, I have noticed at first when you play it, even the first round, will like to kill you once. As you get better at it, you will get better at it. Uh, I, mean, if it I mean, if I can get better at it, you can get better at it. I'm not a great rogue person. Try rogue lights. I am not the best rogue player out here. Back in the day when rogue... That I'm not really gonna show my to you guys. When rogue really started, like, originally started with the real rogue, as in... Just rope. Um, for PC. I was in school. So we used to play the real rope. And we were blown away by how cool that was. So I, I'm familiar with that. You hold on reload, that is your map. So the R button. Uh, enemy set. Rude. Uh, I'll tell you what, we're gonna do loud shot. And what that does is, enemies can hear me. When I shop, it alerts me. However, the other two curses were really damn crummy. You can reload your reroll, I should say, your blessings and curses, but it costs a bit of your health. If you're like me, your health is already sucking, then you don't want to play with that. We're just gonna go straight into the action and try and kill as much as I can. Not worry about death. I don't want to keep running on these episodes. Man, is that creepy. It's actually, like, stressful. You know, it's a tension. Uh, and I have had one heck of a day, so we're gonna try and avoid that. Oh, that was a bad AOE. I, I took a good check of my health. I did that to myself. That was like really Again, I'm trying to stay in areas with baddies so it kills my health. Um, I do, I will say these the controls probably could be a little tighter, but other than that, only in the straight thing. I feel like there's a little room for more sensitivity. But, I'm gonna say this, uh, I'm quite pleasantly surprised. I, uh, I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm gonna admit something that's gonna probably lose me again. I'm not a huge zombie guy, I'll tell you why, because I used to like them. 
until the entire war industry became obsessed with nothing but knives. If you're like me, you grew up with a lot of different monster movies, the 80s was full of them, then you want to see some monsters. What happened to the monsters in horror movies? Did we run out? I don't even know if that's possible. So I'm talking to you out there, Hollywood, but let's get some monsters and horror movies. Did we have another, like, creature from the Black Lagoon? Or, you know, not that one. I don't want them to remake that one. It's one of my old kind of favorites, but... You know, something new. And if you go, oh, there's no new ideas, then you... You've clearly never been to a starving writer's retreat, just trust me. It, they like that shit. Good one. I don't know what Remix does. I don't know yet. This game literally doesn't hold your hand. It just drops you straight off the middle of this shit and it says, Good luck. Uh, tell me when you get home. Right now we are doing fun. We're trying to figure out. Uh, this weather is cool. I believe this is using a dynamic weather system. Which is neat, because as you saw, I didn't always get to the weather there, so... It wasn't always raining. Sometimes it was a little foggy, creepy, gloomy. There were all sorts of stuff going on there. Uh, anyways, as I said before, I have been Bones. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching another Let's Play. Enjoy doing them for you guys. Um, still Not Dead is the game. You can pick that up in the link down below. I'll link you right to the Steam page if you like what you see, so... Rock on. If you don't, you want to see something else we haven't done, drop a comment in the comment section. As always, uh, like us, follow us, and spread the word, man. Share this with your friends. Let's get a whole nation of us out there going. That would be fun. Uh, anyways, I have been Bones. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day.